Hello folks, welcome. Linux Mint 22 Cinnamon. The other day I did a video on printers and I got a request that uh, someone wanted me to do another video for Cinnamon. So I will be doing that. I'm going to talk about uh, uh, printers uh, and uh, also uh, this is more geared toward, uh, well, anyone that wants to know a little bit more about printers, but it's geared toward the folks that are having difficulty installing printers. Because I'm also going to talk about a different classification of printers versus a model and make. Although I will show you mine. But I'm going to talk about some tips regarding printers. And then toward the uh, uh, middle to latter part of the video, I'm also going to talk about a tool that you can turn on for quick printing in your file manager. So you may want to stick around for the whole video. And uh, subscription key is in the corner if you don't have the time. This will be roughly somewhere in the vicinity of 15 to 20 minutes. This again is for any user, but I'm going to approach it from the angle of uh, uh, talking uh, about simple stuff and uh, maybe not so simple stuff for others. So a little bit of mix of this, that, and the other. Filming in 1080. This is Linux Mint 22 Cinema. Adjust your YouTube player accordingly if necessary. So I got this uh, off of wallpaperswide.com. So sometimes installing a printer can seem like a chess game, and sometimes we lose. People sometimes buy cheap printers, and that's exactly what you get. And you'll spend hours and hours sometimes pulling your precious hair out of your head trying to install these things. Some printers are only made for Microsoft. That's too bad. And some printers are, well, they're cheap. They have a tendency to jam paper, Sometimes the ink or toner cartridges don't work well, generally pulling your hair out. So today I'm going to talk about also a different classification of printers. This classification uh, does not require me to install the printer. It auto discovers it, and more importantly, it not only prints on every Linux distribution, but it also prints on Microsoft Windows, Macs, even smartphones like an iPhone. All right. So again, if you're looking for some trouble free and you're getting tired of your printer, you may want to pay attention to some of this stuff. Again, welcome folks. 1080 is what I'm filming in. So Linux came about many years ago. A lot of you folks know this information, some not so much. Linus Torvalds is the inventor of Linux. He invented Linux many years ago. So when Linus Torvalds was going uh, to university in uh, Helsinki, Finland, he was using Unix. So when I open this printer box, I'll talk about my printer in a minute, but I'm going to first go to the top menu and talk a little bit about cups. Cup of tea, cup of coffee, well, you can get those. The video will be more than 15 minutes, so you may want to grab them. Just hit pause or come back later when you have time. No, cups stands for Common Unix Printing System. Cups. But anyways, so Linux is a Unix-like system. Apple Mac is a Unix-like system. Microsoft, not so much. So you will see cup updates sometimes, cups updates through your shield or updater occasionally because there's a lot of printers out there. So I know you can see my printer, so let me get this out of the way, and I will show you uh, what it actually looks like. But I'm going to tell you about my printer a little bit. It says discovered on there in brackets. That's because I didn't set it up. As a matter of fact, the only thing I did was set it as default, just for your viewing pleasure, as one would say. And when you set something as default, you have two options. The other option produces a heart. More importantly, this is an auto discovered printer. So I'm going to talk about a printer classification called wireless driverless or driverless printers. Driverless printers in my book is the way to go if you want to keep your precious hair on your head and not worry about installing drivers for any Linux distribution or even Microsoft or Macs. And again, mine will also print from smartphones. I set it up five years ago. All I do is put paper in it and change the toner cartridges. It only has one cable and it comes out of the back of my printer and plugs into the wall for power. 
It has no physical communication cables. It's wireless and driverless. Linux Mint discovered this one. So Linux Mint 22, I installed, well, what was that, about 60 days ago? And when I turned this on and logged into it for the first time, I get a little post message, found a new printer, and it puts it there. And all I did was click set as default. I didn't need to, but I just thought I'd do that anyways. So if you're in the market of keeping some of your hairs, I would highly suggest if you're tired of your printer is to get a driverless printer. Mine happens to be wireless. This does have the capability of plugging that into an ethernet wire that connects to a hub or a switch and also USB. I chose neither one. I wanted this completely trouble free and ready to go at a moment's notice when I change the Linux distributions. All right, so let's talk about some of the other settings. I already talked about CUPS, a little bit about CUPS. CUPS is your printing engine, common Unix printing system. We have settings. I normally don't change these. I like the last one because in case you run out of paper, it reprints. Then we have the good old AND printer. This is where people get into difficulty. If your printer is Linux friendly, you probably will have very little problems installing it, whether it's a USB or network. But again, I like driverless. A lot of people don't know what serial ports are, but that's also a connection. And um, you can also look for network printers. So if yours is plugged in, with an ethernet wire, you may see it in here. And mine, it happens to be the type that doesn't have any wires. So it is driverless. Filming in 1080. Driverless printers, to me, are the way to go. That way you can keep more of your hairs on your head. All right. So uh, we have quit and then we have properties. And it's a good idea, however you connected your printer, to do a print test. And that says CUPS test page. So again, CUPS again is common Unix printing system. Okay, you can see mine is idle. It's sitting there waiting for me to hit print. And I have an icon down below. Uh, policies I normally don't play with. Access control, the same thing. I don't really need to deny anyone. My printer sits behind my firewall on my home router. So I don't need to worry about anybody from the internet printing. Uh, and then printer options, I normally just leave alone. So I usually just have a standard eight and a half by 11 US letter, but I can certainly put in different paper stock. The same thing go uh, here is I can turn off the color and just print monochrome. Monochrome is just a black toner cartridge and uh, the two-sided printed is currently off, but I can turn that on. Job options, uh, normally just always leave this alone. You can select that when you're printing if you want more than one copy. The toner levels on my machine does not get reported to this screen. However, I do get post-it notes and status messages in case I'm out of paper or if the printer needs addressing such as I'm low on a toner cartridge. It'll tell me which color it is too. And I leave that up to the printer for that kind of info. All right, so that was properties. I'm going to skip over some of these, so if you're uh, installing this manually and it didn't work for you, you may want to delete that and start from scratch. Again, unless you're using wireless driverless. The print queue does come in handy, and uh, you can access that also from this icon if you are printing. Maybe you have a job that you initiated with uh, 300 pages and you didn't mean to. You may want to terminate that before it starts finishing, because it's going to be sending data to that printer. Okay, and depending on how much RAM that printer has is however long it's going to take to culminate that data and print it out for you. So sometimes if you didn't mean to do that, it's a good idea to cancel your print job. All right, so that's view print Q, control F. I normally don't mess with the risks and uh, more importantly, this is your troubleshooting page in case you need to go through some of that. Okay, so this box here is very common. As a matter of fact, my previous video was on MX Linux discussing printers. It was an XFCE desktop, but it uses the same tool in general. 
So sometimes you'll also see things um, go through your updater that it updates. You can see the copyright is by Red Hat. More importantly, this is a cups configuration tool. And a cups again, cup of coffee, cup of tea. Well, so yeah, that, that's nice too, but it stands for Common Unix Printing System. Now, this is indigenous just to the Cinnamon desktop. So I'm gonna walk over to here and talk about action tools. One of the action tools will allow you to do a quick print. So what I mean by that is um, if you right click on a document, I'm gonna activate a tool in this submenu. When you right click, that'll allow you to print. It'll be placed right about in here. So if you're curious about this printer, this is what this thing looks like. All right, I'll make this a little bit larger for you. So um, if I were to take a look at this printer itself, um, let's do the front and back view. I'll make this larger for you. This particular printer does have some extra ports. This is the rear of my printer. So it has an ethernet port that plugs into usually a switch or a hub if you are using a physical wire. The second port below it, number 11, is USB. I don't use either one of these. I use this completely all by itself. It's just plugged into a wall. I can literally move it anywhere in my house and print from it. It's wireless driverless. I can also uh, change and put in manual stock such as envelopes and labels. I usually have to use a word processing um, well, LibreOffice does come with some of that stuff that you can do, and I actually use that quite often. But generally, this is a 250-page, um, 8.5 by 11 tray, so it lasts uh, quite a long time, and here's the display. So if it has uh, problems where it needs more toner or it's out of paper, I get uh, a message display here. 206 pages. You probably don't want to print all of those sometimes. I'm just using this as a guinea pig for two reasons. So we have the standard command, which is control P. If you're not aware of that, that is pretty much universal with all Linux distributions and Microsoft Windows. Control P, or if you want to click that in your file manager, produces that. For Linux Mint, it can also print to file with a portable document format or file. This will be the output your home folder documents and it'll be called that. You can also do postscript, SVG, and then number of copies. You normally don't need more than one for a PDF, but if you're using printers, you may need more than one. Now, since I have 206 pages, I probably wouldn't select all pages unless I wanted to print the complete manual. Just be prepared for a bulk of pieces of paper It'll also take um, some time to transmit that information from your computer through your router, if that's how you're using it wireless, over to the printer. That's how I use mine. It goes over the network. However, I may want to just print the current page, in other words, page 7 of 206, or a specific range. And you can see the blue bubble pop up. It'll give you clues on how to set that up. You can also do setup here one-sided, two-sided, portrait, landscape, paper size. There's lots of options, including turning off the color to monochrome. All right, control P. Now you see it, now you don't. So, Alt and F4 to close that box instead of the X in the corner. In here is a new tool. So if I were to take this document, it just says hello world on it, and I wanted to quickly print it because it's a single page instead of this 206 page document. There's not an option for that currently, but I'm gonna show you how to make it an option. Go to action tools in your system setups. All right, so I did a video the other day on action tools for 21.3, which it only has these two options, but they are the same. The 22 has an extra one called Layout. If you are in Download, type in Print and select Print Send to Printer by this developer called RX or R 
Kali X site, something like that. All right, install that. All right, it's not currently active. So I'm gonna leave the boxes up for a second. So this again is system settings, actions. And this is waiting for me to click the plus key. So I'm just gonna highlight it there for a second. In here, no, you will see that option is now available for you in plugins. And you'll see it unchecked. When I activate it here, it turns the check mark on. If I click that and uncheck that, it'll turn this off. So there is a relationship between these two is what I'm getting at. It's currently off. So if I right click, you don't see the option. So I'm going to turn this and activate that. Now I have print. Now I'm going to close this box. So I will print this in a second here, but more importantly, I'm also going to talk about if you do that to a large document like this, be prepared that it will print all the pages because it does not ask you for anything. It's a quick print. If you did not mean to do that of 206 pages, then I would open the document up and also perform either a control P or click and then select the pages and select the options. This is a quick print. Since this document only says hello world, I don't have a problem with right click and doing that. I've already sent the document. In a couple seconds, it'll start printing. But if you are using a document with multiple pages, then I would actually open the document. You can hear it making noise right now. So same thing here. I would not probably choose this option unless I meant to print 15 pages worth of stuff. And in this case, this is monochrome. I, I can also select that manually by doing this way. And then print. You can also do a preview. Okay. And there is an option on some screens to do a print preview. So let me go back to the box. So my printer is the type that sits there on my network every day and it turns itself to sleep mode after about five minutes. I don't turn this printer off. It just sits there to go into low power save mode, but it wakes up as soon as any of my distributions request a print or even a Windows or Mac or even an iPhone. It just sits there waiting for me to print. Wireless, driverless, discovered. Again, I don't set these up. The only thing I do once in a while is set as default. And again, that's, that's two options with Mint. You get the green check mark or you get the heart. And I think one is just for single user, but I normally don't use that anyways. It prints no matter what. So again, you wanna keep some of your precious hairs and not worry about drivers, you may want to investigate a driverless printer. Thank you for watching.